was born in Los Angeles, grew up in Los Angeles, and I read A Wrinkle in Time when I was very young and decided that I had to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> and luckily, my family was extremely supportive. So they drove me to all of the math Olympics, the science fairs, all of those types of things. I had a teacher that said that my career, my dream career was unlikely and that I needed to choose something more appropriate for my background. And that broke my heart. And I went to my family and I, I really personalized it and felt like I was doing something wrong. But I'm more appreciative now, even more appreciative than I was then that they intervened when they did and told me that I wasn't doing anything wrong and to hold on to that dream that I had. So it worked out for me. I went on to Stanford. I studied aeronautics and astronautics. My minor was in physics and I loved what I was studying, what I was doing. I finally had this opportunity to even work as an engineer and do research. But I noticed there weren't any other women in my cohort or people of color. So I started talking to educators and other engineers and I found out what's really common knowledge now, middle school is when a lot of young people lose interest in mathematics and science. So I came back to LA and I taught everything that I was learning as an engineer, along with some other engineering students that I found that were excited as I was about educating young people. And we taught everything we were learning in a way that a middle schooler could understand it. So it was really good for young people to see someone that looked like them that was already an engineer, but it was also great for engineers to have to explain everything they did on a daily basis in a way that a layman could understand it. Because so many engineers and scientists were very accustomed to using their lingo and speaking like an engineering language that made it really hard to communicate, but also for other people to be excited about the fun things that engineers do. So we did that in Watts, and we were working from the basement of a church. That was the only space I could get for free for all of the middle schoolers that we were teaching. And that program was called STEM Engineers Shifting Gears, and it grew and scaled, and some of those students got older, and they became some of the mentors and teaching assistants for younger people as we had more middle schoolers come in. So one of my students actually just graduated from university last weekend. And I am so, so, so proud of her. I used to think that I wanted everybody that came into STEM engineers to grow up to be an engineer or a scientist, but that's not what it's about. I learned that it's really just experiencing intellectual curiosity and experiencing that with other people around you. So that's my ultimate goal. I like to think that we've done that. And it was also really fun for me along the way. But also the moment that I realized, hey, maybe I'm not meant to be an engineer. There's an interesting intersection between entrepreneurship and education. So I started to explore that more.